so a mobile phone enables us to, to gather information from all sorts of areas, areas where internet connectivity becomes an issue. You know, um, we now basically have a handheld computer in this distributed environment where we can pull information from all sorts of different areas, gather it in one area, and obtain meaningful information. And once you realize that you can install you know, mobile applications on a phone which allow easy navigation and forms and all kinds of data entry, the possibilities start to become really limitless. Any sort of distributed information, be it weather, be it uh, disease tracking, be it just merely profiling different rural farmers perhaps, um, all this information becomes available and easily and cheaply collectible via the mobile phone and just a simple SMS network. The new ESOCO platform offers um, you know, essentially an SMS gateway and a centralized computing power to gather all this information in conjunction with a mobile application that is very extensible. So any sort of information that you can think of to gather, we can easily adapt the application to collect that information, upload it to our servers and be viewable in all forms of reports or mapping or even additional mobile alerts to other users. Right, so what I've developed is essentially a, a framework for developing screens, developing templates to, to create a form, any sort of form for data entry. And then uh, you know, alongside all of our server and web application components, we can then collect that information and disseminate it um, to our client's needs. For market information, we're using it for basically the full subset of the, the web functionality. So that means profiling our customers, registering them for mobile alerts on price information and offers to buy and sell, uh, potentially transport, um, agricultural crop cycle tracking. So that means fertilization, planting, weeding, harvesting to do uh, you know yield predictions and this sort of thing weather alerts, um, the possibilities we're starting to realize really are limitless. Anything that you can gather in a, a short packaged message, we can collect and then, and then use. Well, the software development has been complex. Um, I took on a lot of the effort to make it easy for other people to expand upon it. So uh, if, if you're familiar with web development, it's very easy to develop a screen or several screens for this phone application. Well, I think there are some, some big issues behind literacy, and there's still you know, things that we're struggling to come up with solutions for. I think initially it's going to be uh, power users, you know, our enumerators and people that have been specifically tasked with using this application out in the field. But you know, if we can solve some of these problems, maybe it's uh, you know voice or sound or pictures. You know, I think that they're they're not insurmountable, but they are definitely still issues that we're working with. So, and the Mobi application launched at the beginning of May, and we'll continue to enhance it throughout the year. And the name Mobi application, it is comes from where? Uh, well, it comes from the mind of Mark Davies, but I think it's just you know something short and uh, and, and kind of catchy that, that we we stuck with. They are the